Sometimes you just gotta make it work, especially when Courtney finds a place as special as Jochan Susan, located on Jeju's Jochan Harbor. This unique fish market has a menu that changes constantly with the catch and season. Each day, they sell fresh fish at market prices and expertly kill and slice the fish fresh to order. It's hard to put my finger on it exactly, but this place doesn't feel like your typical Ajishi run or Susan. There seems to be some sort of punk hipster vibe here that's hard to put my finger on. It's a vibe that has given this Susan a cult following of diehard foodies looking for the freshest way possible. Now normally, patrons take the fresh sliced fish and enjoy it as a picnic on the port, which is exactly what I had in mind for this video. But our plans had to change due to the intense wind. So after a few minutes of struggling, we ended up eating in the trunk of our tiny little rented Hyundai Casper. Guys, I'm suffering a bit for this one, but the taste of this fish entirely makes up for it. But before we get to the video, I want to announce that I'm now selling my family's authentic bratwurst in Korea. Stick around to the end of the video to find out more about this unique product now available in Korea. The Susan is filled with massive tanks of both farmed and wild caught fish that changes daily and with the season. Because this isn't a restaurant, you can expect to pay market price or even lower. But don't worry, ask for some chojang and soy sauce and they'll hook you up. Courtney and I went for the Huang Dong simply because we had never tried it before. And the owner decided to slice up some wild caught hanchi as service. Here, I'll just... Legs in? No, I can't. I keep trying. See the ocean, I promise. Okay. And actually, it's kind of cool. You can see the Susan in the window. All right. We got some raw fish. We gotta be careful. What's that? <laughs> this is gonna work. This is actually gonna be a really fun video. You can sit outside and eat here. They let you do that. However, the wind on Jeju today is insane. So instead of plastic flying all over, we decided to sit in our little 
Casper and eat this beautiful way. Dude, this is gonna be delicious. I'm excited to eat this actually. This looks like the mo one of the most impressive Oh my god, dude, this looks so good. Courtney, this looks really good. Dude, that chojang. Their homemade chojang is not regular chojang. <laughs> Tastes so good. We're doing it. We're doing it. Actually, at this point, would be like where we would probably not film. Because we would say logistically it's not gonna work. But the guy was so excited when he saw my video camera and he was like, oh, thank you for coming. So I feel like I have to. So I apologize for this. Mmm, recording. This is really, really good. I'm gonna try the Han Chi Wei. Han Chi Wei is service. Mmm. Dude. That Han Chi is, is really good. It's still moving. This is so special though. Like you come in to this Susan, they just have these giant fish tanks of fresh caught fish. The menu changes daily based on what they catch. I'm comfortable, man. No, I like it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, so weird. Courtney, it's little suckers just like attacked my mouth when I ate it. Mm -hmm. I never had that. It's still, it kind of hurts. Oh my god. <laughs> it was like San Nakchi, but there were tiny, tiny little ones. You should try that. The taste is fantastic though. Look at that. The little suckers are still going. These little things. I don't know if I want to do it again. That freaked me out. I didn't expect that at all. Because I've had like, um, and it's never been like that. I've never had it. It must be super fun. I love, I love Hui when they cut it this thick. I really wish there was rice and soju. But it's probably good, it's not. We're gonna be hungry for dinner anyway. Yeah. Which would be so cool. This is seriously one of the coolest food experiences that I've had on Jeju. Like, you just come to the Susan right by the ocean, right by all these fishing boats. And get fresh caught fish. Mm. The hunchy texture is so interesting. I don't know, it's almost like li liche. Is that how you say that fruit? Lychee, lychee. It's like fruit, almost. That's really, really good. I just want to know what the, the story behind the Susan is, though. Because they're all really young, the workers in there. And they have like an Instagram account. They're very social media aware. 
especially if you lived on Jeju and like brought your own rice and stuff. The texture, the flavor. This raw fish has a very chewy texture, but it has a grassy flavor to it. It tastes like grass or something. Crimson sea breeze. It's like pan pado or something. I am a huge fan of this children. Their chojang is like. Oh, its suckers are still going. Oh my god. <laughs> that was really weird. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again though. Because I don't want to waste it. Dude. Oh my god. If you hiked every day and just ate raw fish. so healthy. It's just pure protein. You could sit out here and have whey all day and then go in and get another fish if you want another fish. Prepare some rice. Sit out a mat. Wow, two more pieces left. We finished it. That was so good. Hanchi is my favorite. I'm glad he gave us some of that for free. Deju raw fish in the back of a car. It was really good. Before leaving, I just want to mention that with the help of the Dutch house in Namwon, I'm now selling my family's traditional handmade sausage in Korea. This is a unique recipe passed down for generations in my family and represents an authentic old world Swiss style bratwurst. To support our channel, consider clicking the link in the description below to learn more about this unique product now available.